Time check is 3.15 a.m. Time to finally get some sleep for tonight. And I'll see you guys at sunrise. Woo! So guys, time check is 9.15 a.m. right now. Obviously, we have made it to our destination. So about 30 seconds ago, I just emptied out my entire stomach contents into the sink down below. And uh, we've already been on the anchor for about an hour. Switched that up, now we're drifting. We saw a couple fish call it guys on the drift. So that's the plan. We're gonna be chunking and jigging today. Probably my favorite way to catch tuna. It's a lot more hands-on and a lot more fun to get these guys to either rip a jig out of your hand or a chunk right out of your fingertips, even though I still only got three fingers. So that's the game plan for today, folks. Let's hop back down in the cockpit, go over what's going on, and then uh, get tight. You! Yo, yo. You're on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just like that trip, dude. Just got to get off the anchor. On? Yeah! yeah. Yo, Zachary! Nine fourteen. Got a little like. Alright, yeah, then go a little blow. That's thirty. First one on. Oh, it popped off. Damn. Alright, well they're here. We'll get them. We'll get them. Here we go. Fight one. So guys, we've been on the drift maybe five minutes here so far. Just got one bite on the spot. So I'm gonna drop down this jig. See if we can jig up a tuna while we let the bait soak. Way out there. A little bit. Still. <laughs> you. There he is, right there. Big stud dolphin. Yeah, that's all. Nice man. Oh, yeah. wow. Anyway, all right, good job. Good job, Zach. Nice cap shot there, rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, one for two on the board. All right, guys, just going over what we're doing out here right now. We've got some live spot, we've got some 30 pound fluoro because the fish are being a little bit tricky, it seems right now. Time checks around 11 30. So far, we're one for two. We got one nice yellow fin in the box, and we just had a real issue and popped off another one. But again, light tackle, inshore fishing here. We're only in a little over 100 feet of water. We got size 40 class reels. Again, lighter tackle. Then we got a 50 yard monofilament wide on here. So just wrapping these guys in our chum slick here. We're chumming up some butterfish and just slowly feeding them out. And hopefully, while the tuna's eating the chunks, sees this little butterfish comes by and smokes so that's the plan hoping to fill up the box with a couple more fish have a little sushi party later so stay tuned On the bottom, yeah. Yep. It's the second one on the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's 40, right? I have to make a move. All right. We're on, baby. I got that. It's going to be like a little 20 pounder. Oh, okay. He's headed to bow. I don't know what that is, exactly. Is it 30 or 40? I don't know. Well, you said you put blue tape on 30, oh, right? 40. Okay, yeah, yeah. 40. I was like, oh, you should be. Should bite 40 on the bottom. Right, right. Yeah, correct, yeah. Oh, come on. Stay it. tight, stay tight. Real, baby, real. Reel them with three fingers. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm already at mono. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. 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 O
come on. Oh, wow. Uh, let's go. There's the porpoise. That's cool. He, they came around the last time, too. Just make sure he's on that foot. Just go easy. All right, Dil. He's circling already, I think. All right. Yeah, here okay, you go. We got porpoise behind the boat. Nope. No, he's not. Hey, guys. We got Dylan tight, so that's the second, uh, second plate right on the bottom. I messed up the last one, but we got Dylan. Hey, boy. Three finger Dylan. Yeah, right. Phew. Come on up, buddy. Go nice and easy on me. Almost forgot how to fight a tuna. Yeah. Oh man, dude, he's right there. I see him gobbler already. See him yeah. Already. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, sometimes when they come in real quick like this, and you get your gas shot, they go absolutely nuts. Look at the porpoise. Oh wow, they're just hanging. Oh, they yeah. Dude, they're like pilots right now. Yeah. What are these knuckleheads doing? Here he comes. Here he comes. I think he might have a tail rope. Come in yeah, he's coming up. He gets like light. Here he comes. No, he's in the mouth. He's in the mouth. Oh, oh. oh. I knew that sounded too easy. Alright, back to mono. Come on, knock. Get on the reel. Alright, come on. Let's kill this one. It's pieces. Guys, same drift. It's starting to get a little pattern, boys. It's starting to get a pattern. Uh oh, uh oh. Spin around, spin around one more time. Okay. He's already done. He, he, he dove deep right there. Welcome to July, ladies and gentlemen. Now you focus on what you're doing. Okay, right? Mr. YouTube Big Shot. <laughs> Color again. I think he got bigger. Here he comes. Oh man, he's he's so pretty. They are pretty fish. Them all lit up. He's so pretty. I'll really look on my taste buds. Big circles. Oh my god, I don't like that at all. The next time you come. Swivel. That's it, swim on that. Oh, dude. That got it perfect, dude. Alright, I'm bringing him to you. Oh, one more. Oh, one more line. He's got salt in his veins. In my same hometown. One more. Swivel's right here. Ready to act. Yeah. Swivel's right here. Yeah, yeah boy. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, boys. Woo. Good job. That was my bigger. First keeper hey. yellowfin of 2022. Good job. You. Good job, guys. <laughs> Who needs a right hand anyway? That's all. Awesome, Yo, baby. Look at, the, look at the hook. Check that guy out. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Good job, bud. Go, guys. My first tuna 2022 with the broken right hand. Mark <laughs> Wag, shout out for the split round. He's a beast, guys. He's a beast. Woo. Good job, baby. I love it. Awesome, beautiful fish. Beautiful. Tackle. Good job, bud. Mid short chunking. That is fine. Yeah, down ahead. Hey, watch the Joko, man. So guys, this is what was in the little tuna stomach right here we just landed. That's our spot. That's our spot that he ate. It was on the hook, down deep. And here's our friendly neighborhood sand deal. So that's what they're eating out here. I had a lot of doubts coming in today. If I could even reel on a fish. I, I've already thrown up once today. I have like a couple hours of sleep underneath my belt. So I'm actually really pretty proud of myself for catching a tuna. You gotta love New Jersey mid-shore chunking during the summer. I mean, it's just great light tackle fishing for some gorgeous, delicious yellowfin tuna. Got it in 10 minutes. If Zach would've hit the first gap, that would've been like 30 seconds, but it's all right. All right. Wanna do, you know, we'll have a little bit of a workout. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a couple more in the box, baby. Woo. Right up 
there. I want to get the scales off the hook too. So guys, this rod here has got been twice in a row. Chris is going to walk us through exactly what technique we're, yeah, we're right going to do over here. Oh, so. it's got bit, it's got bit. Come on, baby, come on. Eat it. No way. Yeah, you're out of my... Come on, go back. Dude, it's every time we start a drift. Yeah. They follow the boat. We're trying to do a quick demo over here, and we just got a bite within three seconds, so. All I want to do is throw my spot in real, real gentle lack. Oh, saw he was on camera and got embarrassed. Yeah. That was so cool though. What I'm doing is just taking the 50 pound wind off. I'm going right to the end of that. 50 yards or 50 pound okay. wind yeah. I used to use 60, but I did 50. There you go. And that's a double Albright knot. All the years I've been tying it, it's never failed once. Now what you do is you take a long piece of line, double it up, all right, like that. And just rubber band a weight on there, sacrificial lead, and then you pull it tight. And then when the fish pulls, it pulls from there, and this little loop goes away, and that rubber band falls right off. Drop that bad boy to the bottom, and hopefully generate another bite. So we're now we're, do you count that as a bite or no? Not really. Or slow. Nah, it's just a little. Yeah. Pull that pull. So two for three right now. Let's get another one on the boat. Oh, we should have put a second. So guys, as always, huge shout out to Chris from Reaper down there for taking me out on another successful New Jersey offshore trip. So uh, nothing particularly spectacular today. We were able to go two for three on Yellowfin on the mid short chunk here. Um, it actually turned out to be a gorgeous afternoon as you can see. I just woke up from an hour and a half nap. We switched spots after grinding that spot for about four hours without a bite. Came back to somewhere a little bit closer and uh, just haven't had a sniff since then. So we're probably gonna call it here. All in all, again, a successful day. 250 pound yellow fit in the box. It's gonna be a good sushi fest the next couple of days. So yeah, hopefully this marks the beginning of my offshore adventures this summer. Really have not gone offshore much um, since maybe mid-May. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Again, check out Reaper's channel, Reaper Fish and NJ. Make some pretty, pretty awesome um, New Jersey offshore videos. So thanks for tuning in this video guys. You guys could hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Of course, I appreciate all the support. Really like where the channel is heading recently. So uh, yeah, every like, every subscription really helps a lot. See you in the next one. Never run the sand, baby.